Hey guys, in today's video, I will be sharing how to make these adorable brown paper bag bunny treat bags. I picked up this 40 count set from the Dollar Tree. So you can't beat that for $1.25. So I'm going to show you two different ways you can do it. For this first look, you're going to take your brown paper bag, leave about half an inch, and you are going to cut diagonally down towards the midline of the bag. And there is this like faint little line that you will be able to see on your paper bag just know for reference whenever you're cutting this like little triangle out to create your little bunny ears the further you go down the longer your ears will be but the shorter your bag will be so you may want to take your paper bag fill it with your goodies that you already have to see how long you need your ears to be so you're just going to repeat that process on the other side you just in essence cut out a little triangle and that's it. You can use that little piece as a template for the rest of your bags. Okay, so that was super easy. And now for the next style of ears, you're going to take another brown paper bag. You're going to fold it in half. And for the purpose of the video, I'm going to draw a line here, but I kind of just eyeballed it. So I'm going to draw a line on the folded portion of the bag. So on that folded part of the bag, you are going to cut about an inch to the midline. Then I'm going to cut out a rounded ear. So on the open part of the bag, I'm going to start and form that little ear and then cut straight down to where I originally snipped it and then you will have two rounded bunny ears. So you have the rounded version of the ears and you have the pointy ears. Okay, now we are ready to stuff our bags. Now, if you did want to add a little face to your bunny, you would go ahead and do it before you start stuffing it. So I have some little cheddar bunnies. I have these little go-go squeeze pouches. I loved like the green with the orange cap, so they look like little carrots. I also have some little poppets from the Dollar Tree, as well as the egg-shaped sidewalk chalk from the Dollar Tree. You get six for a dollar twenty-five, so you can't beat that. And then. I will be using some of these little foam stickers. Uh, you get quite a bit for 98 cents from Walmart. And then some Easter grass, optional, but I like to put it in there. And then I have some ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And these little tags here are from the Target Dollar Spot. Super, super cute. I picked them up quite a few years ago, but I keep these little die cuts on hand for things like this. If you don't have something like that, you could easily make something, print something out, or use these little Dollar Tree wooden tags. Okay, now it's time to put our little bunny treat bags together. Like I mentioned, I do like to put the Easter grass, but that is definitely optional. Go ahead and put your favorite goodies or little treats that you have. I wanted to include my sidewalk chalk, so I picked up these little clear eggs from the Dollar Tree as well. They actually came with a little bonus animal egg on the inside, so I popped those out. Now I'm placing one of my little chalk eggs, popping it into that egg, and now we will have a no mess zone in our treat bag and then I will pop in a few of these little foam stickers and then we are ready to tie our bag off. Now you can do this quite a few different ways. You can use a pipe cleaner, you can use some yarn, or you can use some ribbon. I find it a lot easier to tie the bags off with yarn and not the ribbon that you're going to create a bow for your bag. But definitely give them all a shot and see which way you like the best. I did decide to pop on a little Easter tag here. Once I have my tag ready to go, then I will pop on a simple little bow using this Dollar Tree ribbon, and that's it. I think this little bunny bag turned out so cute. So those were our bunny bags with the pointy ears. Now we'll put together a little bunny bag with our rounded ears. Now if you don't have tags or you don't want to add tags, you definitely don't have to. You can just use a marker and maybe like a dress to and from on the back of the bunny bag and leave it super simple. The bunny ears are just so cute on their own. I do like to give a little snip to the rounded bunny ears. I find it's just a lot easier to tie and secure. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on another little tag with my yarn and then I will of course add my ribbon bow here. Now, if you don't wanna do tags again, you can also just hot glue a little pom-pom bunny tail and that would be just as adorable. Okay. 
I want this video to be as helpful and informative as possible. So I am showing you here, I did give these rounded bunny ears a little snip in the middle to help the tying process go a little bit easier. And this is me trying to secure this bag off with just the ribbon. And I'm just having a lot harder of a time doing it, but it's definitely doable. You just kind of have to work with the ears a little bit more. You have to be a little bit more patient and you may have to use a little bit more ribbon because you have to do a lot of tugging and pulling, but again, definitely doable. Popping in again to share another idea. These little chick eggs are from the Dollar Tree, three for a dollar twenty-five, and they hold those little sidewalk chalk eggs just as well and oh so adorable so if you can't find those clear eggs definitely look for these they also have um, these similar eggs in the bunny are perfect to hold those egg shaped chalks <laughs> Alrighty, these little Easter pom-pom tags I actually got from Walmart last year, two for 98 cents. They did bring them back this year. I just saw them when I popped into Walmart the other day. So that is just another little option to just give you another little idea. These little bags are super cute. Dress them up, dress them down, add a tail, add a face, keep it super simple with just a bow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you found it helpful or inspiring, let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Uh, I think these are the perfect little treat bags if you want to do something on a smaller scale or if you have lots of little goodie bags that you need to get done. You can't beat $40 for a dollar twenty-five. If you need any more Easter gift basket ideas, I will have this year's and last year's Dollar Tree Easter gift basket ideas in the description box below. Definitely check out those videos. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Hit that notification bell so so you won't miss my next upload and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.